You see a lot of talk in the press about the male menopause, some people call it the andropause. And alongside that goes the temptation for doctors to prescribe testosterone. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's no such thing as the male menopause. But what is very real is a condition called hypogonadism in men. The features of hypogonadism include erectile dysfunction, infertility, loss of beard and body hair, breast tissue development, sometimes fatigue, loss of sex drive and other symptoms. Now men with hypogonadism as diagnosed because they've got very low levels of testosterone and also high levels of other hormones that drive testosterone do need testosterone therapy. But there is a warning about such testosterone therapy from the Endocrine Society of Australia which have recently published a position paper on this topic. And what they say is that there is evidence, not a lot, but some evidence that testosterone supplementation may increase the risk of heart disease and heart attacks. And therefore, doctors should be very careful and you as consumers should be very careful if you're at risk of a heart attack, taking extra testosterone. What that means in practice is probably men who are taking testosterone really need to take exercise, need to stop smoking, get their blood pressure down and make sure all their risk factors for heart disease are as low as they can be.